honor to be here. And I've got all those amazing lights right here. Maybe, maybe it's my fault because we pulled out the podium. So I cannot see you all, but I'm looking, I'm looking. Hallelujah. Now you have a very special pastor. I don't know if you know that. This, this, this pastor you have is a real missionary. He's on a mission. Yeah. His, his heart is for his people. And for Iran. I would like to call Iran Persia, but I think Persia sounds better than Iran. But, but uh, he has a big heart for you. And that is wonderful. Hallelujah. Some pastors are just very professional. And good, good people. But some have a passion. And, uh, I see that with you. So you have no place to put your Bible or no? Um actually Zora will be reading. What's that? Yeah. Okay. 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 Hallelujah. So are you ready? Amada has seen ready from for first manna from heaven. Are you ready for the Holy Spirit? Who has been given to us to reveal Jesus to us in person, in person. Not just as a word or religion or philosophy, but the Holy Spirit has been given to us to reveal Jesus in person. And when I say in person, I mean in power. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it is written how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. So this is our Jesus. He came with the power of the Holy Spirit to do good. And we want good, right? And to heal all. Heal everyone who were oppressed by the devil. Sickness is an oppression. When you're sick, you feel like you're oppressed. You don't feel like yourself anymore. You feel like half a person. That is the work of the devil. In Sickness is oppression. And the Bible says the oppression of the devil. We don't want to hear of the devil. But Jesus does talk about the devil too. Hallelujah. Because he's our enemy. You've got to know your enemy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to take you to the text today of Luke chapter 4. And I want you, if you can just read it out in, so we don't have to do such a long thing. Amen. Uh, yes. 
و به ناصره جایی که پرورش یافته بود رسید و به حسب دستور خود در روز سبت به کنیسه در آمده برای تلاوت برخواست آنگاه صحیفه اشعیای نبی را به دو دادن و چون کتاب را گشود موزه را یافت که مکتوب است روح خداوند بر من است زیرا که مرا محض کرد تا فقیران را بشارت دهم و مرا فرستاد تا شکست دلان را شفا بخشم و اسیران را به رستگاری و کوران را به بینایی موعظه کنم و تا کوبیدگان را آزاد سازم و از سال پسندیده خداوند معایزه می کنم. پس کتاب را به هم پیچیده به خادم سپرد و بنشست و چشمان همه اهل کنیسه بر وی دوخته بود. آنگاه به دیشان شروع به گفتن کرد که امروز این نوشته در گوش های شما تمام شد. آمین. آمین. این کلام خداست. Amen. Amen. And this is the teaching of Jesus Christ. He opens his teaching with good news. And when he read out of this book of Isaiah, He finished saying that today this scripture is fulfilled. Hallelujah. So this is for now. Isaiah prophesied this scripture uh, for more than 800 years. That's what you call a real prophet. One of the great prophets, Isaiah. And he was hearing this and seeing this. A prophet is a seer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you to look at this text. Um, Uh, in Isaiah now. So we're going to go back to the uh, book of Isaiah. And uh, I want you to hear it because in Isaiah it's somehow more powerful. Uh, and um, in, in chapter 61, And we're look at this. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I love your music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I gotta read, I gotta see that clock. That clock needs a mic on it. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, praise the Lord. So Isaiah 61, it starts off, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. We are the body of Christ. Let's say this together. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Amen. Because the Lord has anointed me. Let's say that together. Because the Lord has anointed me. In 1 John chapter 2 it says, We have been anointed by the Holy One. The anointing and the anointed one dwells in us. Hallelujah. If you are born again, if you are child of God, then the anointed one, the Holy Spirit, comes to live in you. 
And in 1 John chapter 2, it says that anointing will teach you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. If you've never given your life to Jesus, really given your life, not just made a prayer. It is very simple. You just choose to believe on Jesus Christ. You choose to believe on what is earth. You choose to believe he was born of a virgin. You choose to believe that he is the son of God. You choose to believe that he came not only to heal, not only to, to teach, but he came to die. That you may live. So he came for you. And especially his people, Israel. He came as the love of God. The love of God. To his people. God wants to love his people. He already loves them, but he wants a vessel. He wants to show his love. And he gave Jesus to do that. And Jesus went healing the sick. He did not live in palaces. He lived among the people. And he loved the people. And the people loved him. Yes. They came from everywhere to see him. And he set them free. And he spoke to them. He's very personal. Jesus was always very personal. Even though thousands were coming to him. A very personal God. He never turned anyone away. No. Even when his disciples were trying to protect him, he said, let them come. Children, come. Sick people, come. Crazy people, come. Loves everyone. And he never said, come back another day. He never said, the father does not want to heal me. He never said, I cannot do it. He never said, the sickness and the problem will do you good. He never said that you're not good enough to be healed. Everyone who came to him was healed. And even the demon possessed, they were set free. And he healed many of the crowds without even touching them. The Bible says many times he healed them all. He healed them all. So there is no doubt that God wants to heal all. Because Jesus said in John 14, as you see me, you see my Father. We are one. Amen. Hallelujah. We are one. One God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now we must not forget the Holy Spirit. 
And today I want to introduce him to you as a person. Because Jesus introduced him in John 14 as a person. He's the third person of the Trinity. Not just a touch. Not just a power. Not just a leading. Not just a voice. But he's a person. Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. But another will come. The word another there in the Greek means the same as myself. And he will be with you always. 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 If you feel him or not. He will be with you always. 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 If you are making a mistake, always. If you're down or you're, you are sinning, always. Never leave you. Never, never. Because you have chosen Jesus Christ. Because you are believing on Jesus Christ. He is the gift of God. The Holy Spirit is the gift of God. God gave Jesus as a gift. But he gave the Holy Spirit so we can have a fellowship. That we can get to know the Father. Have a relationship. Not just from for Jesus in the past. But now. He will reveal Jesus now. He will glorify him. He will make Jesus big in your life. And Jesus always makes the Father big. They work together. Jesus says the Father is the best. And the father says, oh, my son is the best. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's look, look at a few more scriptures here in Isaiah 61. He came with a power, with the Holy Spirit, verse 1. And to preach good news. Good news. I want you to hear that word. Good news. No bad news. Bad news for the devil. No, but not bad news for his people. Good news. Remember, if someone is preaching bad news and not not Jesus. Good news. Amen. You know, when you're in the pit, you know, if you're fallen in a pit, you don't want someone to look down at the pit at you and say, you are stupid. No, you need help. You need someone to go down into the pit and, and, and pick you up and help you out. That's our teacher. He did not come to condemn. He came to raise you up and save you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Some people look at the pit and they say, what are you doing down there? We don't need that. We need help. We need so much help. So much. Sometimes I say to Jesus, I need you so much. Because I feel the weakness of my body, my life. I feel so 
احساس میکنم که هیچی هستم کمک لازم با کمک هم کن کمک هم کن لازمت دارم لازمت دارم کمک کن کمک کن پدر احتیاجه دارم میخوامه بگو بهش بگی زبان رو باز کنی بگی بگی اگر میخوامه بگی خجالت نکشی احتیاجه دارم خدا بگو
is never asleep. He's always interceding. He's always pleading for you and I. That's where you are. Come and follow him. Come and follow him. He wants us to go all the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Hallelujah. He is the way. And he wants you to go all the way. He says, I'm going to go all the way. If it's impossible, then that's why we need the Holy Spirit. If it's easy, we don't need the Holy Spirit. But if it's impossible, we need God. We need Jesus. We need His love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's interceding. <laughs> He's interceding for this church today. He's interceding for your family. He's interceding for your sickness. He's interceding for whatever you're doing and praying about. This is our Jesus. He's, he's saying, Father, you said, you said that you will do everything. Father, two miracles for my people. And then the Holy Spirit. And that's miracles. You don't know. You don't know what I'm feeling. You don't know. But it's God. God. Loving you. He's loving you. There's going to be miracles today. I don't know what you want, what you pray, what you have given up, maybe you given up. But today is the day. Hallelujah. 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 We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Give you praise. Give you praise. Spirit of the God is upon me. And is upon you. He came to tell us of the Jubilee. The accepted time. To declare. اون سال که خدا می پسنده اینام جوبلی وحل جشن می خواهد شما جشن روح او بر شما هست که جشن نه که ازاداری یا گریه بلی جشن شما He's risen. And he's And he lives in you. And he's with you to do miracles. With you to heal your family. With you to, to show you mighty things. Celebrate. And he says to comfort those who so many Christians are mourning. They're crying inside. They, 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 they can't cry anymore. So they're crying inside. Broken dreams. Broken dreams. Especially for the young people. When you were young, you were. You had dreams in your heart. And they're no longer broken. broken. No longer there. You had hopes in your heart to do something great. And you gave it up. You're mourning. 
Morning your desire. Morning your vision. Para yung morning your yung hope. Para morning yung the dreams that God put in your heart. I want to tell you that God put those dreams in your heart and he says no more mourning because I'm going to awaken those dreams and I'm going to fulfill those dreams because I put them in your heart Hallelujah 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 Praise the Lord. And he says here to comfort those who mourn. Those who mourn in Zion. Zion is the place where God is. People are mourning in church. Sayon, I'm just care for the house. It's not meant to be. He came. That never To give you gladness. He shall give a shaman. And the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Today, the spirit of heaviness will no longer be with you. دیگه این روح تاریکی و سنگینی و اسارت با شما نیست دیگه نه دیگه نه به نام ایسا مستیم با اقتدار نام ایسا مستیم روح سنگینی اسارت تاریکی روح اسارت رفت no more. No more. Spirit of sickness must go. No more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beauty for us. In the world. Came to give you beauty. Beauty. Maybe you got some ashes in your life. He came to make those ashes into a beautiful, beautiful miracle. Beautiful life. That was ashes before, but he says now beauty. Not just a little better. Beauty is beauty. It's amazing. Just say that those words, beautiful. Just say, Lord, you are beautiful. You are wonderful. And you're making my life beautiful. And you're making my life wonderful. I believe that today. I choose to believe that you're in my life to make all things beautiful and all things wonderful. <laughs> That's good news. In Habarakosh. And only God can do it. No one can do it. You try to get comforters, you try to get healers, you try to get people, but they could not do it. But our God is here today by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus to do it for you personally personally each one no one is less than another everyone is special to God everyone very special 
But I invite you to call upon his name today and believe on him. Let's just say this wonderful name together, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus.
to stand up and receive the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands to God. Paul said when you pray, lifting holy hands. In Psalms it says when you lift your hands, it's like the evening sacrifice. The word of God says you bless God when you lift your hands. Bless him now. This common bless is from bless his name. We respond to you, my father. <laughs> we respond to you. Help us today. Take over today. We give you everything we know we have what we are. You are worthy. You are worthy. We come to you today. And we cry out for your Holy Spirit to empower us today, making us your witnesses. That we'll never keep crying again about Jesus. We will never keep crying about our faith anymore. We will talk about you. We will love on you. Fill us. Fresh. And we thank you for every healing and every miracle. Every past. Every gift. هر اعطای روحانی هر زبان های فرشتگان We welcome you, Holy Spirit. And we thank you. Touch us now. Touch us. We need your touch. Touch us now. Reveal the love of the Father to us. Show us the glory. that we are witnesses of your glory. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spirit of the living God. You are welcome in this place. Let him do his work. 
invite him. Talk to him. Love on him. Tell him that he is everything. Tell him you believe. You believe. You say, I believe. I believe. I believe. Breathe in. Sinus problems heal. No more. No more. 
I want to tell you of all the miracles I've seen. I've seen tens of thousands of miracles. Tens of thousands. He is present to do that right now. And he loves you. Let's just wait one more minute. This wonderful, wonderful God. Let him have his way. Wonderful, beautiful Jesus. You are my God. He wants to hear them. I'm going to have to come a little closer because I cannot see you here. Hallelujah. Oh, those lights are strong. Hallelujah. 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 Great things he has done for Israel. Great things he has done for us. And I want to tell you, Jesus said even greater things than us. Because he went to the Father. We can expect amazing things from God because of Jesus. For everyone, not just the prophets, but for everyone. So, check your bodies. You know your body is important. If you're just a spirit, you will live. You're on this earth because you have a body. I was, I was sick 15 years. I know what it's like to be sick. I never knew what it's like to be normal for 15 years of life. And one prayer was Angelica's uncle, Presbyterian elder. One prayer, 15 years gone. I couldn't believe it for one month. I couldn't believe it for one month. Because I didn't understand that concept. I didn't understand. How can you be healed by one prayer? Oh, God is grace. One touch. One word from heaven. You are healed. That's all you need to do. We have to do a lot to get people healed. But he is God. Amen. <laughs> so check your bodies. I'm going to ask you to do something maybe you've never done before. But my life is like that. I'm always challenging you for greater When I say check your body, because I've got some testimonies up here. Just very short. Not a long testimony. Just say, I had this. And I'm sure it's gone. And Jesus healed me. That's all you have to do. You can sit down. There's a few words. Yes, yes. 
took all day today, yesterday. But uh, yeah, we are in no problem. In Jesus' name, there is no problem. The Bible doesn't say that Jesus healed someone and then later on he came back. He heals the conflict. When I got healed, I tried to eat everything and do everything to get the symptom back because I could not believe. I said to my wife, after one night, I'm healed. And she said, Eric. Just keep taking your medicine. Because she saw me. With medicine is bad enough, but without medicine she'd think I'm crazy. But then I said to her, I haven't taken medicine for one month and not one symptom. And then I started to tell people what God had done for me. I was a businessman, and he started to heal people just from my testimony. And never thought to be a minister. No, 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 no. Business, 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 business. That's what I thought. But God had a new business for me. That he was getting me ready. God's business. Business of God. Anyone else? Come. Test again. Test. Yes, come, come. It's good to see you and hear your voice. Man, I got on. Jalor, I don't want to see you. You come in and be young. Feel good. I'm the most in this. من پسرم باز رسول میاد دن و پیزشکی کار میکنم من حالا که باید فسکر برگشت خب اگه دن دن نتون رو در حقه حتی دعا کنی باور نمیکنی باور نمیداری لحظه دن دن رو از برگیم آمین Amen. Amen. I haven't been to a dentist for 20 years. Oh, they've been 20 years, 15, 17, 20 years, 20 years. He is my dentist. He can do it better than anyone. Anyone else? Come on. Let's have three more good testimonies. Here are hostels during that. Man, they 
So you don't have to worry. This, someone's had trouble with their um, um, joints. Maybe arthritic, maybe yeah, just pain in the body, and it's gone. Uh, and it's gone. That's a testimony. I have laughed. Don't wait for a doctor to tell you it is gone. Stop me when you talk to me. Yes, it's gone. I got laughed. خدا رو میبینه 
و به من میاموزه توبه کنم در حضور تو به زهبت نگاه نکن به قفت روح القدس و نام ایسای مسیح که تنها نامیست که به تو داده شده بنجم و در نام ایسای مسیح برای کسی که دست گذاشتی روش سلامتی و شفا رو بخوا بخوا بکنم بکنم اگه دوستش داری حتی شاید قریب است برای اون سلامتی بخوا برای اون شفا بخوا برای او آرامش بخواه برای او برکت مالی بخواه برای او اقامات این سرزمین اگر انتظار داره بخواه برای اون مستعت های دلش رو بخواه خدا اجابت کنه در نام ایسای مسیح برای او نجات و رستگاری رو بخواه هاللویا اعلام کن اعلام کن اعلام کن و با ایمان دریافت کن چرا که حضور خدا اینجاست روح خدا اینجاست چرا شک میکنی چرا میترسی جادوگرها ترافیستان دکتر درمانی ها آنانی که مصبت اندیشی کردن تعلیم دادن حلقه های ارفان و و و و و و سایه حقیقت رو دیدن حقیقت اینجا که خود مسیح دریافت کن دریافت کن این بازی نیست این حقیقته اگه یک مسلمان متاسب مثل من که بچه قوم بودم رو خدا من نبست کرده کار خدا تبدیله و خدا میخواد و میتونه شما رو تبدیل کن در مسئول اراده خدا و همه اینها رو در نام ایستای مسیح بتنم آمین آلیلویا خدا با ایرانی ها کار بزرگی داره نقشی ایران در مرکزیت خواهر میانه قرار داره تا به فیض خدا خدا سفیرانش از ایران بفرسته برای تسلی برای آرامش برای صلح برای شفای تمام مردم آورده ده. که از یک باور دروغی به نام اسلام اومده تا شماها شفا بدید تا شماها آرامش بدید و خدای مهر قدس به همه ایمان داده آمین دریافت کردی با ایمان بپذید من ایمان دارم تا انتهای هفته خیلی هایم از نگ میزنن که شفا گرفتن بعضی از شفاها رو فکر میکنن که باید باز دکتر تایید کنه چه هم الان یه بسه جمعه برای من من شفای چشم هم رو گرفتم و شفاهای زیادی بگیرم فقط کسایی که تو کلیسا هستن شفا نمیگیرم حتی اگر این برنامه رو کسی تکرار هم بگیره در نام مسیح مسی شفا دهنده آمین با ایمان درگاه کنیم آمین